Anthony and Turner Cole with Proviron here. I'm here in the Keep Supply studio today to talk about our Proviflow inhibited glycol offerings for the industrial refrigeration space. Proviflow has three core offerings. Proviflow N, which is an inhibited ethylene glycol, Proflo L, which is an inhibited propylene glycol, and then Proflo FG, which is an NSF HT1 approved food grade inhibited propylene glycol. There are two main types of glycols that are used in industrial refrigeration. Ethylene glycol, which is uh, mildly toxic for human contact, highly toxic for human consumption. Then there's propylene glycol, which is not toxic for human contact and not toxic for human consumption in some cases. Under Proflo, we have three core offerings. Proviflo N, which is an inhibited ethylene glycol. We see applications for that in geothermal, solar thermal, and production manufacturing. Proviflo L, which is an industrial grade inhibited propylene glycol. Same applications as Proviflo N, however, it's used where ethylene glycol is not a suitable medium. And then Proviflo FG, which is our NSF HT1 approved product. It's a uh, food grade inhibited glycol and it's intended for food production and pharmaceutical production applications where there's potential for incidental food contact. Glycols are rarely used as a concentrate. Often they're diluted anywhere from 60 to 20% glycol over water. And when selecting your inhibited glycol, it's important to understand your intended process temperature. That process temperature is an indicator and selecting the dilution rate of your glycol. And you wanna select a inhibited glycol, a diluted glycol, that has a freeze point at least six degrees Fahrenheit below your intended process temperature. Another variable in inhibited glycols is the water being used to dilute. Sometimes end users will use tap water. However, tap water is different depending on location. We recommend using demineralized water or RO water. This is a control and it allows us to better maintain the chemical stability of the inhibited glycol over time. So the value of Proboflow's inhibited glycols is our corrosion inhibitor formulations. Uh, we have three separate corrosion inhibitor formulations depending on the application, whether it be Proboflow N, L, or FG. And corrosion inhibitors are very important to mitigate for corrosion and scaling in a closed loop system. Some corrosion inhibitors focus on specific materials where Proboflow's corrosion inhibitors are developed to mitigate for corrosion, not just on iron-based materials, but also soft solders, coppers, brasses, cast aluminums. We want to protect all materials found in the majority of closed loop systems and mitigate for corrosion and scaling wherever possible. We utilize the ASTM D1384-05 corrosion standard to evaluate the performance of our corrosion inhibitors. This process uh, uses six separate coupons as a control. These are uh, materials which we have a defined weight for. It's copper, soft solder, brass, cast aluminum, cast iron, and gray iron. These materials are suspended in a heat transfer fluid for two weeks or 336 hours at 90 degrees Fahrenheit while being aerated. This replicates an extremely corrosive environment. And after that 336 hours, the coupons are removed and weighed for material loss, which equates to corrosion. In 2020, the federal government passed the AIM Act. The AIM Act focuses on scaling back F-gas use in multiple industries, including industrial refrigeration. And F-gas is any gas, like Freon, that has a high carbon footprint or potential to contribute to global warming. By 2030, the federal government has mandated a 70% reduction in F-gas use. Um, we see this as an opportunity to invest in more sustainable processes utilizing inhibited glycols as a heat transfer medium. So from Proviron and Keep Supply, thank you for your time and we look forward to serving you down the road. If you have any questions regarding inhibited glycols and their application, reach out to Keep Supply directly and we'll work together to answer whatever questions you might have.